Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Regina and I'm on a weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds in order to get knee surgery. Today is Wednesday and it's my weigh-in day. I'm going to kind of take you back in time and tell you how my week went. In this video I'm going to go ahead and give you my weigh-in so stick around. Let you know how much I lost or gained. So with that said, I just want to kind of go back to where this week started. Last week, Wednesday, I was back from my trip. I was still recovering. I got some kind of cold and I still kind of have it where I was coughing. I couldn't control my coughing. So I thought, well, maybe I contracted um, the coronavirus. You know, I was around a lot of people last weekend and I didn't have a mask on because we were all told that everything is okay and you don't need a mask, but the coronavirus still is out there. So I felt really bad and a friend of mine that went with me, she said the same thing. She said that she didn't feel good. So she took a COVID test and it came out negative. I did not take a COVID test. My symptoms, I could still smell, I could still eat. I just was really tired. And honestly, I think there's something in the place where I'm living that has uh, some kind of mold or something because sometimes I get some really bad uh, coughing fits and whatnot. So anyway, I'm still a little stuffed up and I apologize. So that was this. So I didn't have a lot of energy to cook like I normally do. I did some. And then on Thursday, my mom told me my uncle was coming from, to town who hadn't been here in over God, 25 years of Uncle Don. And I was super excited to see him. It was also my dad's birthday and he's in a, unfortunately he's in a nursing home. So we decided, my sisters and I, that we would rent a room at his, uh, where, the nursing home where he lives. It's a beautiful place and they had a beautiful like conference room kind of area. So we rented that out for him. I was in charge of the cake, of course. <laughs> and my other sister was gonna bring pizza and then my other sister brought like some beer and wine and, you know, party, like kind of fill in stuff like, um, rice custody bars, etc. So the party, I did really good actually. Well, so the night before that, before the party, my mom and I were cleaning the house. My mom went to go outside and she slipped and she fell on a chair outside. And so she bruised up all of her, her, uh, chin here and she hurt three of her fingers. It looked like the way she hit her chin here, she also hit her neck. And so she was bleeding so bad and I had my earphones on. I was in the house and I didn't hear the neighbor calling me. And finally I looked up and the neighbor had come inside to tell me that my mom was in really bad shape. So we called the ambulance. Luckily she went to the hospital and she just had some scrapes. Nothing was broken, thank God, but it was scary. So I was planning on making some food for my brother who was coming to town who's going to stay with us some healthy uh, thai food and i ended up having to forego that because we were so worried about my mom i couldn't even think about cooking we ended up he and i ended up getting a pizza and, and then the next day so i ate the pizza that's pr pretty much the only thing i had for two meals so it wasn't so bad or the next day my dad's party I got up in the morning and I had a Lara bar. I don't know if you ever had one of those, but they're like a three ingredient bar, really like good, clean, whole food. They are really filling. I really love it. Love those. So I had that. I wasn't very hungry. Went to the party and I only had one piece of pizza that my sister had some cake. But then we came back and as the day went on, I had not planned anything and we had company here. My aunt and uncle came over, my sister came over. And so we ended up ordering another pizza. And so a part of that, I wasn't very prepared this week at all, mostly because I didn't feel good. Um, I didn't track really. And I really had a heart to heart with myself. And I said, something's got to change. I need accountability. So I've been watching somebody on the internet for the past, well, for the last since I started this journey in April. She's been doing this for, I'd say about three years now. Her name is Jen Clayton. And she has like three different uh, YouTube channels. One is a Weight Watchers channel and it shows the food she eats, etc. And another channel she has is a nutrition channel. And that basically 
And she talks about nutrition or your macros, your protein, your carbs, etc. She offers a coaching service and I really like her approach because she still eats fairly good food. With her plan, you do have to up your protein. With that, I think high protein does help to keep you full and it helps with your metabolism and a lot of good things. So she did my personal macros and my protein was pretty high. Um, it was around 178 grams, which I'm gonna try to stay within that. I, I Googled somewhere else and they said, you can you can have a range. So maybe it'll be like 150 to 170, but I don't think I can go any higher than that. We'll see. But anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna really try to stick with that, really try to pre-track my meals one day ahead of time so I stay on track. Simplify my meals. I've been trying to, you know, do four horse gourmet meals. It doesn't work when you're trying to lose a lot of weight. It takes a lot of energy to do this channel. It takes a lot of energy to go to the gym. It takes a lot of energy to be organized. So I just, I'm going to still be doing cooking and healthy meals, but just maybe simplify them a little bit. So we'll see. I have a healthy gyro sandwich that I'm going to be making for my next meal, which is tomorrow. I had a burrito tonight and all day I've been on track and all day today I've been drinking my water. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. I am excited to really go at this, especially during the holiday season right now. I do want to do a coaching call with her. I think her rates are really reasonable for $50 an hour. You can call and I can talk to her. I mean, I can, I can call if you feel like doing it, please. I'm going to leave the information below so you can give Jen a call. But basically, you know, for me, I need accountability, especially when it comes to Thanksgiving, Halloween, as you know, those are my, those are my triggers. So I'm going to be talking with her. Hopefully I will see my weight go down by quite a bit. And if I stay on track, I should be where I want to be by February of 2025, which is a year, two years, it's 2020, 23, 24, like a year and a half, I guess, if I stay, stick with this um, calorie and protein um, breakdown. So to my way in, last week wasn't great. Like I said, I was absolutely off track again. It's, it's been miserable for me and embarrassing and just a lot of things. But I'm honest and I want to keep this channel going because I don't want to quit. So my weight last week was 336, I believe 0.8 and the week before it was 335.4. So I went up 1.4. Given the week I had, I was pretty happy about it, to be honest, because I had eaten really pretty bad. But I honed it in. Today has been a good day. I'm going to keep this going. I promise you guys, I'm not going to get off track again. I'm not going to make excuses. Next week I should have a lot better loss. Let's hope. And yeah, I just want to get through these holiday time, not throw in the towel and quit like I used to do. So with that said, I hope you guys are all having a great week. I look forward to hearing how uh, weeks are going and you're, you're dealing with the Halloween coming up and, and, and all the, the fun food stuff that we got going on. So hope everybody's well and eating good and sleeping good and miss you all. Take care. Bye.